Hey guys and welcome to my first how to make your own tool video. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own tool to release the brake on your Husqvarna chainsaw. Here's a 350 Husqvarna chainsaw. Here's the clutch cover and part of the brake assembly is built into this cover. Sometimes people take this cover off and the brake is engaged, then they cannot reinstall it. And today I'll be showing how to make a tool to disengage it once you have the cover removed. First of all, I'm going to simulate what can happen. You've accidentally left the brake on the saw. Now even though the brake was engaged, you still managed to remove the clutch cover with a bit more difficulty. By the way guys, if you're new to chainsaws, always remove the clutch cover while your brake is disengaged. And here it is removed with the brake engaged. As you can see, the brake band is much smaller in diameter. And when you go to reinstall it, it's going to be very difficult and next to impossible. Because what's happening here is the brake band will not fit around the clutch drum. And in that case, what needs to be done is to get it disengaged. And to do that, you have to move this part over here. Now you could slightly put it back on and use this handle to do it, but sometimes it's going to come off of the grooves. And that's why I'm making my own tool here to disengage it when that happens. As you can see, I've got a spark plug wrench from a chainsaw or a blower. This is actually a steel tool that comes with some BR blowers. It's the one with the T27 Torx at the end of it. I'm using this one because it's a bit more robust than the other tools you can get for saws like this one here. And here's how I'm going to make it. I'm going to line up my tool like this. I'm holding it with one hand and I'm going to go with a Sharpie marker and mark where I'm going to cut out the grooves. I've colored in the material that needs to be removed. So three sides. And I'll be using an angle grinder to grind out the material I want removed and make sure you have safety glasses on. Now once you've grinded off the notches, you can use a round file to file out the burrs. I'm just using a round chainsaw file to do this. And you can also use a flat chainsaw file like this if you want to make the edges smoother around here. And here's the finished tool up close. Now you can also use a die grinder if you want to instead of a grinder. If you use a grinder like I did, make sure you're not grinding down other parts that you don't want to. And now you want to make sure it fits into your clutch cover brake system. Now I did have to file it down a few times to make it fit nice and smooth like that. So after the initial grinding, it's possible you're going to have to enlarge the holes a bit. Don't make them too large. Start off a bit smaller, then you can expand them just a little bit at a time so that it fits nice and snug on here. And now to disengage the brake, you want to get the tool into the notches. I'm going to sit it down like this so I have good leverage. And I'm going to go clockwise. And now you just heard it click and the brake is disengaged. And once it's disengaged, you can easily reinstall your clutch cover. So that's all there is to making a tool to disengage the brake on your Husqvarna chainsaw. Let me know what you think about this new video series. And if you have any tools that you've made yourself, please post your comment under the video today or post a picture of the tool you made on my Facebook page. The link is underneath the video as well today. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.